everybody. Welcome back to another episode of 1025. Thanks for joining me this week as our family is spending some time camping. Today we're at Sibley State Park over by Wilmer and you know one of the things that I enjoy about camping is being able to get up every morning and go out for a run. Being able to explore the beauty of God's creation. And, and every park is different. I don't necessarily know what I'm going to encounter. So I get up, I take a look at the map, and I figure out my route. And you know, it isn't life a lot like that. Like, it's an adventure. We don't really know what each day is going to bring us, but we get up and, and we consult the map. And the map for life is God's Word. And God's the one who guides us every step of the way. You know, I love what Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21 says. It says, as you're, as you're walking through life, you'll hear this voice behind you that says, this is the way, walk in it, whether it's to the right or to the left. So. My plan this morning is to be able to go out and run the trails and I guess Mount Tom is the place that you need to check out. You, you, it's the highest point in the county. So I'm gonna get ready to do that and I pray that regularly you continue to consult the map of God's word and trust that he's gonna make clear the adventure of life that's before you. So thank you. Whew. Hey guys, so just wrapped up my run and man, that, that felt really good. And, and as I ran, I was just able to process a few things about what it means that life is an adventure. You know, one thing that I realized is I, I knew the direction that I wanted to go, but I didn't really know the details about it. You know, by the time I got done with the run, I'd done 86 sets of stairs. I had no idea that I would be doing that many sets of stairs. So I knew the general direction, but I didn't, I didn't have all the details figured out. Uh, secondly, I, I knew that I needed to, to watch my step closely. You know, I, I wanna share with you just a little bit of video footage that I shot of some of the, the ups and downs along the path. And, and I realized that I, I very easily could have fallen and, and tripped myself up, either going up a hill or going down a hill. And it's at times like that that I think of the words from the book of Psalms that uh, where David prays that God would give him sure-footedness like the feet of a deer. Which brings me to the, the third observation that I have is you never know what small moments of beauty you're going to encounter. You know, yes, I got to the top of Mount Tom. I was able to take that in and, and I can share a little bit of that video footage with you. It was, it was beautiful. It was well worth it. But then I got more toward the end of my run. Mosquitoes. <laughs> I got more toward the end of my run and, and I'm coming up a hill and I see this deer on the path. And I stopped and I just waited to see how close she would get. And she got pretty close. And then I realized the reason why she wasn't just running off is because she had two little fawns with her. And so I stopped and I stayed there for about five minutes and I spent time just talking with them and taking all of it in and letting her know that I wasn't a threat to her at all. That's one of the closest encounters I've ever had with a mama deer and her two little fawns. And it was well worth it. And I believe that God gives us those moments in life. Like sometimes we're just churning it out. We're just going through the paces on the journey. And sometimes we just get to stop and take it all in. So thanks for letting me share some of those moments with you today. I pray that as you continue through the adventure of life, that God would continue to direct your paths. Have a great day. I'll see you again next time.